Assalamu alaikum. Uh, my name is Sherma Dazara. I am the program coordinator of for the DSM program and also the course coordinator of the anatomy and physiology in the College of Nursing in Islamabad. In anatomy and physiology lecture of the series, uh, today, uh, today is the lecture number five. In the lecture number five, we will go to learn about the uh, clinical bone. The common name of this clinical bone is called the uh, collarbone, and the another name of this bone is called the duty bone. And this uh, bone, the clinical bone, is the type of the long bone. This is the only one long bone in the human body which is uh, situated or uh, located at the thoracic cage, at the front of the thoracic cage, in the horizontal way. But all other the long ways, uh, long bones uh, of the appendicular skeletal system, they are mostly uh, situated or located in the vertical way. So the collar bone is the only one bone which is uh, situated or located at the front of the thoracic cage in the body. The name of the collar uh, bone is the clavicle bone and this clavicle bone is derived from the latter word and from the latter word of the clavica. And the clavica means is the little key. When a uh, human body, when the humans are move their upper arm in the abduct abduction way or in the abduction way. So this clavicle bone is moved like a key, just to, like to open to the lock. So it is called the clavicle. So the clavicle is the, uh, uh, the only one bone where, which is in the human body. Uh, the ossification of the clavicle bone is a start, the first bone which is a start the ossification of the clavicle bone. But it is end in the last one, uh, the clavicle bone. So the clavicle bone, if you will see it, uh, the clavicle bone, it is take the part in the like a stud. Stud means it is uh, uh, give the protection and give the assistance to the upper arm, the movement of the upper arm and the joint of the upper arm, attachment of the upper arm with the axial escalator with the sternum. So the clavicle is just above the first uh, ribs, just above of the four ribs. Now the clavicle, uh, how you can, uh, this is the, 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 the best question which is the anatomical and the anatomical viva, the, the examiner asked from this, uh, tell me the name of this bone and uh, how you can identify it is uh, uh, belong to the right side or the left side. So the, uh, this is a clavicle bone, uh, if you see the clavicle bone it has the uh, two curves uh, in the clavicle bone, the, it has a two end. If you see in the diagrammatic structures, it is the uh, italic letter like a S, it's a S shape and italic letter of the just like S. So in the S shape, this uh, clavicle bone, it has the two end. The, the end which is on the lateral side, which is goes to join with the uh, scapula, with the acromial process of the scapula bone, it is a little bit flattened in shape and more in curve in shape. And this flattened shape of the clinical bone is called the acromial end. And the other end of the clinical bone, which is little bit rounded in shape and straightened in way, straightened in shape and rounded in shape, which is will goes to uh, attach with the manibulum of the sternum bone. This this end is called the sternal end. So with this sternal end, when it, it will go to join with the sternum, the 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 end of the clavicle bone, the sternal end of the clavicle bone, it will go to join with the sternum bone. It will make the sternum clavicle joint. The end, the acromial end of the clavicle clavicle bone, which will go to attach that uh, joints with the acromial process of the scapula. It is called the acromioclavicular joint. This end will map the acromioclavicular joint. Now, in the clavicle, if you see the clavicle, uh, it is uh, it is the situated at the anterior surface of thoracic cage. 
it is subcutaneous uh, bone you can uh, you can feel it uh, the uh, the portion the elongation of the clavicle bone by the by the palpation uh, by the palpation so if you see this clavicle bone you see it is a s shape now see it is has the two convex it is a two curve the one curve the interior curve this is the interior curve and this one is the posterior this is the posterior side and this the another curve This is the both are the inferior portion. This is the posterior view, posterior portion of the clavicle. Now, in the interior side, in the interior side, if you see the interior side, it is a convex in shape. The interior side from the two third. Two third of the middle towards the lateral side, this portion is convex in shape. This curve in convex, convex curve, convex curve. The from the two third, the two third portion of the clavicle bone from the interior side is convex in shape. Okay, and one third. The one third from the interior side, this one. The one third portion is concave, concave, concave curve. And the, if you see over here, is a two third. The two third of the clavicle is a convex in shape, and one third of the clavicle bone is. Concave in shape from the interior side, and from the posterior side, from the posterior side, if you see, this is the posterior side. This is the interior side, and this is the posterior side. From the posterior side, it is the concave. Two third is concave curve, and one third is convex. In the best curve from the acumen, two thirds and one third. Two thirds from the interior side it is a convex in shape, and one third from the interior side is a concave curve in shape. From the posterior side, from the posterior side of the clavicle, the two third portion, the two third portion is concave in shape. And the one third is convex in shape. Now, if you how we can identify this clavicle bone is belong to the right side or the left side. So the if you see key is a two the one is the straightened in shape more in convex in shape and this one is the flattened one is the acromion end. The acromion end. And of this clavicle bone, always keep on the right side, on the lateral side. This acromion end kept on the lateral side, on the lateral side. And you see at the inferior border of the clavicle bone, if the see at the inferior surface of the acromion end is a tubercle is here, and this card is conoid tubercle. And these conoid tubercle always keep on the inferior side. So you can identify this is the right side clavicle or the left side clavicle. So this clavicle is belong to the right side of the the on the uh, uh, on the clavicle. If you see in the clavicle, uh, it has a two portions. The one portion, the two third, two third portions is the. Uh, rounded and cylindrical in shape, or rounded and cylindrical in shape. 
it has the two end one end is for the external end which is will goes to articulate with the which is will goes to articulate with the manubrium of the uh, of the external port to make the external clavicle joint it is the another end the other end which is a flatter in shape more broader in shape this is called the acromion end of the clavicle which will make the acromio clavicle joint now the two third portion of the clavicle two mid in the mid of the shaft of the bones the shaft of the bone is more in curve in shape and cervical and uh, cervical in shape uh, of the shaft of the clavicle so in the in the in the if, if you will uh, if you will take the one third portion of the lateral one third lateral side of the clavicle which is the flatten in shape and this is flatten in shape which is a more in curve in uh, curve uh, more in curve way so this flatten in shape is called the acromion and this is the acromion portion the acromion portion if you see the acromion portion is a concave from the interior and convex convex from the posterior convex from the posterior and concave from the interior so it has the two border and two surface the acromion end of the clavicle bone has the two border and two surface the upper border the upper this this area the upper surface is called the superior surface and this surface is called the inferior surface and this is the a ridge like a sharp ridge like structures at the at the interior concave area convex uh, curve area this is called the uh, the interior border and the posterior side is a rough like structure this is called the posterior border okay in the interior border in the interior border of the clavicle uh, of the acromion end of the clavicle bone it is for the attachment of the it is for the if you see this one the 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 interior border the inferior border the concave portion the concave portion of the acromion end of the clavicle this border is for the attachment of the deltoid muscle for the attachment of the deltoid muscles are the the posterior side the posterior border of the clavicle this one the posterior border of the clavicle this one which is rough in in structure this this border this border is for the trapezius trapezius muscle for the trapezius muscle and trapezius ligament as well trapezius muscle and for the trapezius ligament as well now we will come up on the inferior surface if you see in the inferior surface is the trapezius line as well here at the posterior side at the inferior side if you see over here it is a trapezius line here trapezoid line and this trapezoid line is for the attachment of the trapezius ligament the acromio uh, to make the more joints joints is a stronger with the acromion process of the scapula this is a trapezius line which is where is the trapezoid ligament are attached over here and this just at the uh, at the left at the medial side of the trapezoid line is a tubercle is here and this tubercle is called the conoid tubercle this tubercle is called the conoid tubercle this conoid tubercle is for the conoid cervical ligament attachment this conoid tubercle for the attachment of the conoid ligament which will make the crocio uh, clavicular joints okay which is take the part in the uh, clavico corico uh, clavicular uh, joints this is the conoid ligament and this is a conoid process the tubercle this conoid tubercle is for the attachment of the conoid ligament 
If you come of the in the shaft in the two third portion of the shaft of the clavicle, you see in the from the interior side is a convex in shape, from the posterior side is a concave concave curve. So it is mostly is a rounded and curve, rounded and cervical in shape. This clavicle from the shaft in the two third is a rounded and cervical in shape. It has uh, three borders and three surfaces. It has mostly the some books it is written the four borders and four surfaces. Four surfaces and four border, but in the some books they are the three surfaces, three borders. If the, if the front side, if the front side you see is the sharp, is a ridge over here, this is called the interior border. And the, this is this one, the at the superior side is another border, is called the superior border. At the posterior side, it is called the posterior border. And in the inferior surface is a, another is a groove over here between the interior border and the posterior border is a surface is here. This is called the inferior surface. Now between the interior border and the and the uh, superior border, the surface is called the an interior surface between the interior between the superior border and posterior border is other border is another surface this is called the uh, superior surface and between the posterior border and the inferior border and inferior border this is called the posterior surface so it has the three borders and three surface the interior border superior border posterior border now in the, with the the surface between the interior border and the superior border this surface is called the interior surface the surface between the superior border and the posterior border this border is called the superior surface the the surface which is present between the superior border and the posterior border this surface is called the superior surface the surface which is between the posterior border and the inferior border this surface is called the inferior surface if you see in the inferior surface is a is a groove or sulcus is here and this groove and sulcus is called the subclavian groove this is called the subclavian groove and the subclavian muscles is attached over here now in the interior surface in the, inter in the interior surface of the uh, shaft of the uh, of the clavicle bone is the interior border this is a ridge like structure this interior border is for the this this one the this the interior border of the clavicle bone at the and the convex curve area, this is for the attachment of the pectoralis, 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 pectoralis major muscle. For the attachment of the pectoralis major muscles. And if we see at the posterior side, is the posterior side is another posterior border. And the posterior border, this a posterior border is this one, the posterior border is for the attachment of the sternum, glyco, mesoid, mesoid muscles. This SCM muscle. Okay. Now you see at the external end is another articular facet is over here and this articular facet if you are looking here this is the articular facet is here and this articular facet this articular facet for the first costal ribs for the first costal ribs if you could go on the on the lateral side uh, on the posterior side, it is the another is the tubercle, and this tubercle is called for the costo clavicle tubercle. For the costo clavicle ligament attachment, for the costo 
केविकल लेगामेंट अटैचमेंट फॉर दी कॉस्टो केविकल लेगामेंट अटैचमेंट सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट दी टुडे इज द इज अ वेरी शॉर्ट लेक्चर फॉर दी टुडे इज ऑल अबाउट दी केविकल बोन दी जस्ट समराइज दी केविकल बोन दी केविकल बोन इज द टाइप ऑफ दी लॉन्ग बोन the common name of the clavicular bone is the caudal bone or the other bone is called the it is also called the duty bone as well the clavicular bone is the uh, the only one long bone which is present or situated at the thoracic gate in a horizontal way but all the other long bone are situated or located in the human body in a vertical way so the clavicular bone is the first bone which is starting the ossification and the at the uh, the ossification is start the first one is to start the ossification the human body and it is the end in the last one it is the end in the last one at 21 or 22 years of the age so the clavicular bone uh, if you see the clavicular bone is provided the sturt sturt is just like the, if you uh, in the astronauts or in the engineering in the uh, aero engineering the sturt is the wing like structure which is support provide the support the wings of the aeroplane this the sturt means the clavicle is provide the attachment of the upper arm with the axial skeletal system so it is provide uh, the clavicle is the drive from the lateral word of the clavicle and the clavicle means uh, is a little thing a little key and when the when you move your upper arm in the abduction and adduction way then the clavicle is move just like to open the lock just like the key move like a in the axis to open the key so if we see the clavicle is the clavicle have the three portion the external end and the acromion end and the middle one is the shaft the external end the external end the external end of the clavicle is little bit rounded in shape and it is supposed to articulate with the uh, manubrium of the sternum and make the sternal clavicle joint and the acromion end of the clavicle bone is a little bit flattened in shape and it will goes to join with the acromion end of the scapula to make the acromion scapular joint okay now the the shaft of the clavicle if you divide the shaft of the clavicle in two third and one third the two third of the uh, clavicle shaft is a rounded and cylindrical in shape and compact in uh, uh, in compositions and the one third portion of the of shaft is a flattened in shape which is made the uh, acromion end it has the uh, uh, three borders in the shaft if you will take the shaft of the clavicle bone it has the uh, three borders the inferior border the superior border and the posterior border the surface which is present between the inferior border and superior border is called the anterior surface the surface which is present between the uh, superior border and the posterior border is called the superior surface and the surface which is present between the posterior border and posterior border and the inferior border is called the inferior surface so it has the three surface and three borders but in the some books it is written the four surfaces okay now in the anterior surface if you see anterior surface which is the convex in shape and the from the anterior side and from the posterior side is the concave in shape the anterior surface is the anterior border it is like structure this border is for the attachment of the pectoris major muscle the pectoris major muscle which is present on at the front of the uh, thoracic uh, cage and from the posterior and the, and the superior border the superior border and the posterior border is for the superior and posterior border is for the attachment of the scm muscle the sternocleidomastoid muscle which is originated from here and will goes to uh, attach at the mastoid process is to like uh, mastoid process of the of, of the temporal bone so another is it is the another tubercle over here that this tubercle is the articular facet is here this is the for the attachment in another area is here is the attachment for the stoid muscles 